Hi Brad from WordPress Sites. So I'll just uh, do a five minute video on how to install WAMP server. So then you can download WordPress and install WordPress locally on your own PC. First step is to go to wampserver.com. Download uh, 32 bit or the 64 bit to your local PC. Uh, best to do this with a download manager if you find an add on for Firefox or. Uh, whatever browser you're using, it's a lot faster with a, with a uh, download manager. Once you've downloaded that to your desktop, uh, just click on the icon and follow the installation instructions. Next, accept the agreement. Next, and just continue along uh, with the installation instructions. Once you've installed WAM Server, you'll get a desktop shortcut here, and there will also be a little icon down the bottom here in the um, I don't know what they call this, the, the tray or whatever it is. Uh, click, left click on that and um, if it's offline, um, click put online. Uh, if, if you get an error and it doesn't work, reboot your system and then try again and it should work the second time. Okay, now once your server's online, left click on it and click on local host. This will basically show you what you've got in there. And the first step to installing WordPress is you have to download WordPress and, and create a, um, a, a database. So we'll click on PHP My Admin, uh, click on Privileges, uh, click on Add New User, um, Brad, Host, Local Host, Password. Password, put that in again, uh, generate password, I think this is some sort of security procedure, but we'll put all this into notepad is the best thing to do, we've got the password, uh, the username and the database name are the same, and local host. Okay, so we'll put all that into Notepad. Now yeah, we'll just go down here. Uh, create database for same name and grant all privileges. Check all. And click on create user. And that's it. The database and your username are created and connected together. So we can close this screen. You can just see we've got the, uh, the database up here. Next step is to download WordPress. So go to wordpress.org uh, slash download. Here we are here, download 3.2.1 is the current version, we'll save that to desktop in a zip file. Now we'll unzip this, extract files here. Here's WordPress, we'll open that up and we'll look for the config sample file. Click on that, open it with Notepad, Notepad++, which is a free uh, text editor. And we just need to put our details in here. So the database name and username were Brad. You can use whatever you like. Okay, we just put these in here. Database username and database name. Password um, was just password, so I can use that. And local host is a name. So we'll close that up now. Save changes. And we just need to change the name of this. So we'll rename this to WP config so we we'll just delete sample from there. That's done. Close that up and we'll set for the installation script. Before we run the installation script, we have to put the WordPress folder into the WAMP directory. And here's the address here, WAMP backward slash www backward slash. It's in C drive. Here it is here, so I'll just drag WordPress, drag the whole folder and that'll go inside and that's exactly where we want it so we close that up now and we'll run the inst installation script for WordPress. Here's the installation script, the, the address to it so we just copy that and this is on my website under my latest blog post. Okay just type the address in for the installation script up in any browser you can see where it is here I've also got it on the latest blog post on the site Click enter and you've come to WordPress. You just need to put in details here, very straightforward, and uh, 
and there you go, you've installed WordPress. If you've got this far, congratulations, and there's more on my site, wordpresssites.net. Cheers.